Many people today talk about leadership who've never led anything more complex than a junior high marching band. They offer this or that principle as if proven under fire, when in fact their experience has been limited to launching rockets in a game of battleship. But that's not to say that you can't learn from these novice or even failed leaders. On the contrary, as victims and volunteers in these experiments, you often have a front row seat to observe their inappropriate actions or even their inactions. In fact, you learn not to repeat these leadership lapses. Failure number one, their failure to communicate their reasoning behind their decisions. Let's say your school board announced next week that all local schools would be closed at 11 a.m. for the next month. I'm guessing your first reaction would be, why? What's going on? If you have school-aged children and you work outside the home, that news would mean you would have to make alternative childcare arrangements. Probably, you would not simply shrug your shoulders and say, oh well, most likely, you'd be asking questions about the, the cause for the shutdown in the schools. But if the school officials told you that local scientists had found a toxic chemical in that school building, or all the school buildings in the system, and that necessitated a complete refurbishing, you'd likely accept the decision. I mean, you may not like it, but you'd accept that necessary action. That same situation occurs daily in the workplace. Leaders discuss situations and the data behind closed doors. They emerge and make an announcement to the employees and they cloak their conclusions in some vague language that leaves people baffled, beleaguered, and often bruised. And to boot, they often expect buy-in. You can learn from that mistake. Failure number two. The failure to communicate frequently and consistently. These failed leaders remind us of the famous husband whose wife complained, you never, you never tell me that you love me anymore. To which he responded, I told you I loved you the day we married. If I change my mind, I'll let you know. These leaders communicate a message once and they think that message has been heard, understood, digested and applied throughout the entire organization. No need for repetition, no need for interpretation, no need for reminders. Definitely don't put these leaders in charge of sales or marketing if you plan to keep your company afloat. With this kind of thinking, you could run one ad one time and cut your marketing budget dramatically but you want to be prepared for the fallout with lead generation. Neither do failing leaders understand the value of consistent communication, both good and bad news. They often fall into the trap of communicating with employees only when there's bad news to share. Things like layoffs, restructuring product recalls, wage freezes, and that kind of thing you can learn from those examples, those mistakes. Failure number three, the failure to consider the impact of perception. Perception becomes a reality for many people. These leaders announce cost-cutting initiatives and then take the executive team and their spouses on a strategic planning retreat to some exotic locale for five days. Message communicated is cost-cutting measures are just not to be taken seriously. Perception. The executive team considers themselves an elite group operating under a totally different set of rules than the rest of the employee group. The cost-cutting measures have no basis in fact. That's a perception. The impact. Future ideas submitted by employees for cost-saving measures just <laughs> obviously dwindle to nothing. You can learn from this mistake, this failed attempt. Followers have a unique 
perspective on leadership. They know firsthand how leaders earn or fail to earn their trust, their cooperation, and their confidence.